What is that experience like going from uh, being an under-21 All-Ireland winner to an actual All-Ireland winner? Um, it's so long ago, I suppose, now since I won the under-21. Um, yeah, the, they're, they're pretty special. <clears throat> but the, the one thing, I suppose, is that it's about making the step up of the couple of teams that I was on at under-21 level. I think there's like four of us still involved at senior level. So, uh, and I played under-21 for four years. So uh, there's, that's one a year that's still playing. Um, so you have to kind of make the step up and grasp that as well and, 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 and try and um, become better because obviously it, it, it took us long enough. We won a couple of under-21s and it didn't really turn to success yeah. um, so soon. So, and it was the same, I suppose. Limerick won the three in a row a couple of, good few years ago now, I suppose. Um, and two out of the last three so it, it's up to them guys I suppose to, to drive it on and, and, and win Munster and, and hopefully the All-Ireland then Yeah, it, it's not very clear who the talent that's <coughs> going to come through from this age group and make it in senior generally, Jer, except you're credited with being the man who picks, <laughs> who handpicked the hurlers when Board Goss Energy launched their sponsorship mm -hmm. with the Under-21 Championship you picked Joe Canning, Seamus Callan, Paul Murphy, Liam Rush and Patrick Horgan Patrick Horgan mm -hmm. There was one more from Antrim. So five out of six, not bad. Yeah, yeah well, again, you, you know, you look at, uh, you know, as Joe said, the age profile of guys coming through, that you, you know, you, you can nearly spot the talent coming through, you nearly spot the great guys. And we kind of try to spread the, 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 the ambassadors across the country, and I think the, the guys that we picked were probably standout players then, even what, than what they are now. Yeah, because then they all ended up coming back for the launch of the actual yeah, thing yeah. this year, was the, yeah. kind of counting the All-Ireland medals and the All-Stars. So, uh, like, how do you tell who's going to make it? Like, what do you look for when you're looking at... Uh, well, you look, you know, from the point of view of... Um, I, had, I suppose you look at guys across the country, and you, you know, uh, the guys getting younger and younger, they're all probably playing senior at that stage, and... You know, you look for for a guy that uh, to be an ambassador from point of view that that, that a guy could be able to uh, obviously maybe the first thing is to perform in the field that he he can he has a skill level and uh, at the same time that you know we we're taking a bit of a punt at times to, with guys that we think might might come true and uh, you know we sit down and we have a look at them and uh, you know but at the same time there's there's a lot to pick from and I, I don't think we've you know we we. The guys that we picked, if we pick someone else, they'd, they'd have come through as well. Ah, yeah, well uh, they also have to look good in front of the camera, yeah. right? That's the, <laughs> that's the main thing when yeah. it comes to these launches.